Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm going to cover this uh, Coral Beauty Cotoneaster, or as uh, some customers or lots of my customers in the past call it Cotton Easter, but it is actually Cotoneaster. This is a, a great evergreen ground cover that can be used on slopes, banks, in rock gardens, in containers. There's a lot of different uses for this plant. I think that people tend to go right to junipers when they're planting things on banks and uh, don't give uh, these the consideration that they deserve. Uh, it's just a great uh, evergreen plant that's going to get about one to two feet in height, six feet in width over time, probably even wider. Honestly, it probably would root in as it went on a bank. Grows very quickly. It's going to cover a bank much quicker than a ground cover juniper. Gets white flowers in the spring, which are followed by very, very showy berries in the fall and winter. These don't have any because typically in a nursery setting, we're doing some extra pruning on them uh, during the year. I'm over here at Pender Nursery in Garner, North Carolina today uh, shooting some videos. And um, this is a wholesale nursery that sells to uh, garden centers and landscapers. And they do just a beautiful job with these. So I had to stop and shoot this. I haven't done a Cotoneaster video at all. Uh, these get a purple, a um, little bit of a purple uh, leaf as, the, as it gets cooler in the fall. It's been very, very mild and warm this year so far. So they haven't started to pick up on that color yet but that really plays beautifully with the red berries and the uh, purple foliage uh, in the fall. So again, I said this Coral Beauty Cotoneaster was gonna get one to two feet in height, but you can keep them shorter than that. These little, the vertical branching that's on these can be cut off whenever you need to to keep them shorter. These are, um, if, you're in, if you're in a hurry and you need something to cover a bank quickly, this is a great choice. Um, they, they really prefer full sun but they are tolerant of some light shade. If you put them in too much shade, they will become thin on you. Probably not die, but uh, not be a great uh, thick ground cover. I will fertilize these in the late winter, just like I do any other woody tree or shrub with a slow release fertilizer. That should be adequate for the season. If you need to do any major pruning on them, you could do it in the late winter or really probably any time. I doubt you could kill these, but you have to be thinking about if you, um, uh, you know, any major pruning you're going to do, you're probably going to lose the uh, flowers or the berries that year. No big deal. Occasionally, you probably would want to reset them. These are very, very drought tolerant, very, very pest resistant, uh, deer resistant. This, the reason this one's called Coral Beauty is because the uh, berry is kind of a coral red color in the fall. Very beautiful. The birds like them quite a bit. These are also salt tolerant. So if you're in a coastal area, um, this is a great choice as well for a uh, some you know holding soil in place but anyway i just wanted to show you these because i have not covered cotoneaster on my channel at all and this is a great fast growing option for many of you to cover a slope or a bank use it for erosion control like i said they also look great in containers thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for upcoming content thanks for watching